Hey there again, YouTube. It's Mike the Dicka Collector for an unprecedented third time in one weekend. Uh, I have a bunch of mail that accumulated over the week, and I figured it'd be a good chance to show it off. Uh, some random stuff, a lot of Nolan Ryan, some Jordans, some Ditkas, Bulls, Bears. We do it all here on the channel. Um, so I figured I'd just get to it. Hope you're all doing well. So a couple of YouTubers have been having uh, eBay sales. And uh, when I can, I try to check out their sales. And if I can pick up something from my collection, go ahead and help them out. So the Long Shots Signatures, who is a great TTM channel, had a sale. And I picked up this uh, 1991 Max Bobby Allison signed. Uh, some of you may know I did the TTM Wax Challenge. And I really like the set and been trying to pick them up. And this was a great price, so I went ahead and picked that up. Um, for my 93 Flare set, a lot of these are TCDB trades as well. Uh, I picked up the Barry Larkin for the 93 Flare, as well as the Derek May. And then I picked up a whole bunch of Nolan Ryan, some purchases and some trades. You got the 1980 J.R. Richard Nolan Ryan strikeout leaders. And then a bunch of the old, uh, you know, 80s and 90s that we've all seen many times, but surprisingly I didn't have, I don't have a lot of these, that's why I, I uh, went ahead and picked them up. This whole Pacific set, there's a whole bunch, I'm not going to uh, waste your guys' time, but there's a whole mess of them here. Um, and then I picked up a couple of Bulls cards, so for the 90-91 hoops, surprisingly I didn't have this card, and the only reason I could say I think I didn't have it is because he wasn't really a prominent member of the team. But uh, I needed it for the team set, so Charles Davis. And then from 91 Skybox, the, I love this set, John Paxson. Now, I already have one of these, but uh, I want to send TTM, and I think this would look beautiful signed, so I picked up another one. The seller included uh, the Phil Jackson. It's not in the best shape, but always happy to add bulls. Dennis Hobson. And then another Phil Jackson. This one's kind of neat. So Phil, obviously, he played for the Knicks. Uh, as a player and coached for the Bulls, so it does fit the Bulls PC. And then can never go wrong with BJ Armstrong. Um, so my rule with collecting is I obviously want any player that played for the team, but I usually only want cards of them in their team uniform. My only exception to that rule would, is college uniforms. So BJ Armstrong at Iowa. This is the uh, upper deck greats of the game. Pretty cool. Another set I'm working on is the 2006-2007 Topps Luxury Box. Um, and I told you that I do like to, to support uh, YouTubers. Well, Caleb's Cards had a sale and he had this Kirk Heinrich. This one's cool. This one's numbered out of $4.99. So this is an addition to the set. Very nice to have. Uh, so that's pretty much it for basketball. Well, that's a lie. Then we have the iconic Michael Jordan on the 91 All-Star. So that's Michael Jordan, Patrick Ewing, Bernard King, and Charles Barkley. I think there's Joe Dumars back there as well. It's just cool, you know, that they, they play so hard against each other, and then they can kind of just relax in, in the All-Star game. So enjoy that card. And then back in 2019-20, whenever The Last Dance came out, and Michael Jordan cards went through the roof. I made the difficult decision and I sold off all my graded Jordans. Um, it was very hard to do, but financially it was the right decision. Uh, so I've slowly been picking cards back up as prices have come back to earth. And this is actually an upgrade. So this is the 1996 Ultra Board Game. Michael Jordan. This is a PSA 8. The one I sold was actually a PSA 7, and I got this for less than I sold the 7 for. So cards have definitely come down in price a lot, um, and I'm very happy to have. This is such a cool card, and it's such a difficult card to get in a good grade because with all the black back, sorry, with all the black borders in the back, uh, it's it's just difficult to get in the high grade. So to get this in a PSA 8. I'm very happy to have it, have it back in the collection, and hopefully I won't be selling them off again unless prices go parabolic again, but uh, in a nice Jordan. So let me get to some football. 
I picked up Khalil Mack. And then another set I'm working on is the 90... I'm working on a lot of sets, guys. The 93 Prestige. I'm about 92% of the way done with that set right now. I need about 30 cards. Uh, so I picked up this Vance McDonald rookie card. Uh, the last... It's a 300-card set, and number 201 to 300 are all rookies. And it's cool. So this is how they usually look with the player and their helmet and in and, and uniform with the rookie. But what they did was some rookies, and I think it was the top five picks in the draft, they had short print cards made where they had a card that looked like this uh, with them in their uniform, but then they also had a card from draft day. Uh, these are surprisingly difficult to get. They're not high dollar value. They're just You just don't see them out in the wild. So uh, this is Cordero Patterson, who uh, rookie, and glad to have that. Um, picked up this Justin Fields celebration. Not that there's been anything to celebrate. Uh, this was another pickup from Caleb's card, so nice to add to the collection. And then for the Robbie Gold PC from 2006, Tops Total. It's the Bears special teamers. You have Robbie Gold as the kicker, uh, Bernard Berrien, the returner, and Brad Maynard, the punter. So pretty cool card. I have a bunch of these, but I didn't have this one, so glad to add it. From 2019 Prestige, Extra Points. This is the blue variation, Robbie Gold. And then from 2019, Panini Instant. Uh, they made these, I think, during the playoff run. So this was actually right after the game where the 49ers knocked the Packers out. So thank you, Robbie Gold. Very cool looking card. Add it to the Robbie Gold PC. And then last but not least, we have some Dickas. So this is kind of a neat one. So this is 1990 Oro Wheat. And it's a Chuck Knox card who was the head coach for the Seattle Seahawks. But uh, as you can tell, that person he's talking to right there, that's Mike Dicka. It's kind of a neat, uh, unique card. There's uh, Michael Jordan collectors have something that they call um, shadow cards, where they'll pick up cards of other players where Michael Jordan's in the background. So here's like an example of that. This is a Dennis uh, David Robinson with uh, Michael Jordan defending. So it's technically a David Robinson card, but Jordan collectors collect it as well. Uh, so just thought it was neat and added to the Ditka PC. Picked up from 2019, Timeless Talents, Mike Ditka. From 2023, this is Panini Legends. This is the red variation. This one's numbered out of, I think that's 299. There you go. Pretty cool. And then last but not least, we end with a Ditka one of one. This is 2018 Classics, the printing plate. This is the Cyan, Cyan, is that what it is? Yeah, the Cyan variation. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, big mix, Ditka, Jordan, Bulls, Bears. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and God bless.